The judges of Israel had to carry out two tasks, judge Israel righteously and rid ourselves of the enemy. But many times some of these judges only focused on one of these two tasks, even these two tasks were divided between two different judges. Such is the case of Deborah, who was the one who played Israel but Barak was the one who freed Israel from oppression. In that same line we can locate Samgar, who freed Israel from the Philistines, but did not perform the task of judging to town. The Philistines were a people who came from the Aegean Sea, and who settled in Canaan. When Joshua with the people of Israel took possession of the Promised Land, the Philistine people became a formidable enemy. East of Judah the Philistines were organized into a pentapolis. Five cities, Ashkelon, Ashdod, Ekron, Gaza, and Gat. These were ruled by five kings and without a doubt, This town had a great military superiority, the latter because the Philistines had the monopoly of the iron alloy. The resistance of iron compared to the bronze weapons used by Egypt, the people of Israel and the peoples of Canaan was remarkable. So it is no coincidence that the Bible mentions that Samgar defeated the Philistines with only an ox goat. Samgar was the third judge of Israel, his father's name was Anat, and this shows how lost the people were in the time of the judges, since the name derives from a pagan goddess from Palestine. Samgar means the one who flees, and he was from the tribe of Benjamin, his predecessor was Judge Yid who after liberating Israel from Moab, had left 80 years of peace in the nation of Israel, that is where we can locate the work of Judge Samgar. During the time of Samgar is where the first conflict between Philistines and Israelis is recorded. Samgar was the first who faced the Philistines and defeated them. He performed a feat surpassed only by Samson. According to the Bible he killed 600 Philistines with a goat of ox. Thus saving Israel from the impending invasion of the Philistine people. Such was his prowess, that he is mentioned by Deborah and Baritz in their song of victory. After the time of Samgar, as the song of Deborah and Barak says, Israel had lost its way. Such was the forcefulness of the victory of Samgar, that the Philistines did not invade Israel again until after 200 years, where they reappear in the Samson's days.